Hey guys, welcome back to another raid video. In today's video, I want to talk about a very interesting topic that is choosing your fastest champion for arena offense. All right, currently we have a lot of choices in the game actually. Uh, back in the days, we only have Arbiter and then Sifi was released. We have Sifi, but nowadays we have Lady Kimmy, right, and even other champions. So, uh, yesterday I was doing some gear adjustment on my account then uh, like as you guys know I have a plus 4 Arbiter I have my Arbiter built super fast over 210 speed alright and yesterday I just decided to try something new alright so I took off all my god tier speed gear from my Arbiter <clears throat> and I put that gear on my baseline Lady Kimmy so boom here she is and then I realized that Lady Kim is actually super super good in arena if you decide to build her as your fastest champion and I think in most of situations she actually works better than both CV and Arbiter right uh, I only have a baseline Lady Kimmy but I managed to get her speed to 209 as a baseline uh, if I have a plus 4 CV, if I add 15 speed here, it's going to be 224. That's going to be one of the fastest in the world. Unfortunately, as a low spender, this is the best I got. And I don't think i ever going to get a even... Uh, I don't think I'm even going to get a plus 2 in the future. Because I don't spend on non-void shards at all. So, in this video, I kind of want to showcase uh, like all different champions that you might be able to build as your fastest in a team like besides the speed boosters you can actually build champion like warlord or or yumiko as your fastest champion so let me just quickly show you guys my yumiko's gear all right so this is my yumiko built super super fast like if you have let's say a, a quad speed banner on your orc faction or Shadow King, you can try Warlord and Yumiko, and if you're a low spanner, you can even try to build your your Basher as your fastest champion, if you want to try something new, alright? Obviously, the most popular choice right now is a... Uh, I think the most popular choice right now is still Arbiter, because CV is Void Legendary, and Lady Kemi, like not that many people in the game have Lady Kemi, right? Even though that Claren probably a year ago did a guarantee Lady Kemi, so that's the only one I got. I pulled her during the guarantee event. So yeah, I think for the speed boosters, uh, most people just go with Arbiter. And if you're a pay to win, you can go with CV, right? And I think if you're, uh, if you reach to like top level of arena, I think the best choice is gonna be Lady Kimmy. But like there is one condition if you want to try Lady Kimmy as your fastest champion. That is, you have to have a Kaimar. It's, um, well, I think it's best you have a Kaimar. Obviously, you can use Arbiter as your Arena Aura, right? But usually, I don't use Arbiter. I don't use, like, two speed boosters in the same team. And talking about speed boosters, uh, back in the days, I, I was always saying that uh, you, you're you going to go with whichever champion you can build the fastest. But nowadays... I think it's really not the case anymore. You don't have to push for crazy speed. All right, here's why. Like, take a look at the arena page, right? I'm not quite sure what it's like in lower goal five, all right? But if you tr if you reach to a higher level of arena, if you just take a look at the page here, I will say at least half of them is not a speed team. So like even if it's speed team, you can see like it's Duchess lead. It's really not a big big deal, and they don't really have someone that is a threat, right? You don't have to, for example, this type of team. You don't have to compete speed with this team. So I would say like speed nowadays is really not that important. Like for example, Lady Kimmy, like Lady Kimmy is around five speed slower than my Arbiter. If I just put my full speed gear to my Arbiter, but I feel like. Like I said, speed is really not that big of a deal. Even if you're slower than the enemy, you can still win it using a lot of go second teams, right? And for Lady Kimmy, because nowadays we have so many Mithralas in the arena team, right? It's so annoying to deal with. Like I said in my previous video, I think Mithrala nowadays is probably the best one in the game right now for arena. 
both offense and defense. So many people are using Mithrala, and uh, I feel like Lady Kimmy has an increased speed, uh, speed boost, and increased accuracy. It's just so useful. So in this video, I kind of want to show you guys uh, how I build a speed team. I how I build a speed team with different speed boosters. So let's just get right into it. Uh, so let's see what how I can use Lady Kimmy here. All right, so. I still have my Arbiter team set up. Maybe in the future I'm gonna switch back to Arbiter, but right now I'm gonna go with go with Lady Kimmy. So we can try this team. Uh, their CV is baseline, so I'm pretty confident that with my gear I'm faster than most of most of uh, baseline champions out there. So in this team, what we can do is we can go with a half rug. <laughs> All right, another pay to win champion. I know. So um, my Yumiko is super fast and it's gonna be speed tuned with my Lady Kimmy and my Kaima is relatively slower but also in an immunity set and my half rock actually let me quickly show you guys my half rock gear my half rock is gear in a stone skin set I, I did not put him in a savage set because I think if you only want to use the champion on your speed team you don't have to put him in a savage set he's gonna one shot the enemy easily with his crazy multiplier and he already has ignore defense on the A2, right? And on Stone Skin set, it's just so much more consistent. By the way, I don't use this champion at all against Kendra Fun, all right? I only use this champion when I see the enemy team has no force affinity champions. All right, let's see how it goes. It's gonna be very smooth. I, I, I can go first, increase accuracy, increase speed, put their skill cooldown, they can't really do anything. All right, let's do this. That Valkyrie is annoying. Alright, that's fine. Can I get a turn here? I'm gonna get a turn here. They are gonna get one shot. Alright. Come on. One shot. Two shot. Okay. So that's basically the team synergy. Right, I think it works very well against most of the teams. Like I said, if I see they have a Force Affinity Champion, I just put my Leoris here. Alright. Leoris is kind of like a Kendrafon killer. So this one should be pretty easy. All right, put their skill cooldown. They're gonna put me to sleep. That's fine. Let's do this, and they are gonna get one shot. That's it. Super easy. All right. Let's see if we can find any more example here. All right, this is a plus four Kendrafon here, right? That's why uh, I said against Kendrafon, I always use. Leoris here, but the thing is since this team does not have attack up Leoris doesn't do crazy amount of damage, but it's just uh, very very consistent. Let's take a look at this It should be super consistent here All right They have a, uh, they have a stone skin here, that's fine Come on Yeah, the damage is not close to half rock as you guys can see, without attack up here. Look at this. They're just constantly resetting themselves, right? And constantly getting turns. It's fine, they're gonna get one shot here. That's it. More than 20 seconds. It's really not that bad. It's a speed team. Alright, for this one, uh, they don't have Force Affinity Champions, so I'm gonna use a Magic Nuker here. It's gonna be fine. I should be able to go first, right? They also have a baseline CV here. Like, Hefrak is so good. Okay, so I almost thought he's gonna cut in. Alright, so let's do this. And Hefrak can do attack up on himself. So, like, even if you want to try any other speed booster that is not Arbiter, Hefrak is still gonna work. Alright, that's it. Super easy. Alright, so I think we can even try this team against those have a slow team. Alright, that's why Lady Kemi is really really good. Okay, so in this situation you don't have to I don't have to go with a, a speed aura, right? So what I can do is I can put a Roman to here and Alright It's um I'm not sure if this team is gonna work or not because Rodos could one shot my half rock. Like if I fail this one, I'm gonna try Leoris. 
All right, so let's take a look. Should be able to do this stuff easily. Okay, he's gonna cleanse, then I'm gonna strip. My Hefrog is going to do a nuke. Let's see the damage. All right, that's nice. Only Necro left. Like increased accuracy, it's just um, it's just a way of dealing with Nethrala. Like I know, like sometimes with increased accuracy, you are not able to strip Nethrala. It happens, but it's just uh, kind of like the most reliable way. It's not like super consistent. I do believe there are people building their Mithrala close to 1300 resistance. I do believe there are a lot of Mithrala that has this type of crazy resistance. All right, so now let's let's just try something else, right? Uh, since I have showcased Lady Kimmy Speed Team, let's showcase an Arbiter Speed Team here. So this is not a Speed Team I know, so it should be pretty easy. All right, let's just go like this. Like, I think Arbiter is still gonna be the most common choice if you're in lower tier, right? Because once you transition into higher team, I feel, I feel like like increased accuracy actually kind of matters. No? All right, seven seconds. <laughs> it's much faster than my Lady Kimmy team. All right, so then we can try something else here. Let's try, let's try, let's try. All right, hold on. Why? Uh, all right, so let's try Sifi is our fastest champion here. So with CV again, if you want to build CV as your fastest champion, you're still gonna use a Kaimar here. Otherwise, it's just, um, it's, it's not a good idea to use CV and Arbiter together, you know? So let's put a CV here. And in this situation, I can either use a Solus, a defensive nuker, or I can use a Hefrock. Hefrock can do attack on himself, but in this case, since they have a candy foam, let's go with Solus this time. Solus actually does insane amount of damage. All right, let's take a look. Okay. All right. Can I one shot them? Look at that damage. All right, they got the revive up. That's fine. Let's keep it going. Okay, so let me do the nuke, and it should be a one shot here, right? So yeah, that's the way you're gonna build a CV goal, a CV speed team, right? So we can try this one as well. Let's take out. Actually, let's let's just try Havrock here. Come on, let's see the damage of Havrock. You can go with Havrock. Havrock is just so good nowadays. The only downside of using Havrock is the reaction accessory proc or Kendrafon, right? So they have two stone skin. That's not good. All right, that's that's a terrible idea. All right, so <laughs> let's just try something else. All right, not gonna work here. Um, we can try this one. I believe you can try this one. All right, they have a Mithrala and plus four Kutraxa. Looks cool. The team looks cool. A lot of empowerment here, and a lot of stone skin here. Okay. If I use a three here, she's gonna get the cleanse. Right, so that's the problem of building my champion too fast. Okay, <laughs> that's a bad idea. All right, she almost gonna broke my stone skin here. Look at that damage. All right, I'm just gonna do the reset, get my Kaimar up, and do the reset, and then I'm gonna get my Romanzo up. I can do the strip and let's do the nuke and I got petrification and my game just freeze <laughs> all right now just one Mithrala left super super tanky one and I got petrification I can't do anything that's annoying it's gonna take forever to beat this Mithrala right Damn, so tanky. Come on. Wow. <laughs> That's a tanky boy right here. Come on, come on, come on. 
That's a plus three Mithrala. Great build. Alright, so finally. I'm gonna try like one or one more on C V. Let me try to find. Alright, let's try this one. Let's let's go with Solus here. Alright, let's go with Solus here. After this one, I kinda wanna showcase um using your Warlord or Yumiko as your fastest champion. It also works. Alright. I putting them to sleep and do the strip. The sleep Duchess here. My Solus is gonna get the big nuke out here. Look at that damage. The power of plus four Solus. Alright, they're gonna revive. That's not a good idea. They're gonna revive everyone. I'm gonna do another big nuke. Come on. Let's target Duchess. Get rid of him. Alright, so that's about it. So let me see if I can try to find find a hedgy team. I can showcase my Yumiko here. Alright, this there's one here. For this one, um this is not a fast team. Alright, so but anyways, I'm gonna go with Yumiko. Yumiko is gonna be the fastest on the team, right? So what we can do is we can use a Raman to here. And then what we can do is we can use a team like this. Alright, so I think it's gonna work pretty well. Yumiko is gonna be the fastest champion on the team, alright? But their skill cooldown, right? They can't do anything. And all my other champions are not that fast. That's fine. Then I'm gonna do a strip. And see if I can do some damage here. They really don't have any damage against my Leoris. So let's do this. My Leoris is a little bit too slow, I guess. Alright, that's the damage. <laughs> Still at full HP here. Parry here. See if I can find a Hanji speed team so I can show the the Yumi call offense here. Is there any Hanji speed team here? Alright, let's try this one. So <clears throat> who can try this one? Like you don't even need a Molly here. Like to be honest. Right? You don't really need a Molly here because just I don't think they're gonna be faster than my team here. It's just um like <laughs> this karma is not gonna be 390. I don't believe it. Alright. There's just no way. The karma is 390 speed. And then what we can do is let's put a Raman to where's our Raman to just go like this. Alright. Okay, see I still got get to go first, just put their skill cooldown. Let's do the strip and my my skill actually reset. That's a interesting stuff. Now can I get a nuke out here? Alright, one small nuke here. Now let's see my half rock doing the big nuke. Should be a one shot. Not quite. I didn't take his HP to below 50%. That's not good. Uh, can I kill this Leorus here? Should be it. Okay. So that's how you're gonna use a champion like Yumiko or Warlord as your fastest champion. I think it just works. All right. You don't have to go with speed booster, especially like if we take a look at the arena page now. At least half of a team is not speed team. Alright, it's really not that important to build a champion super super fast. Alright, and most of speed defense is actually relatively easier. Alright, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I'm probably gonna stick with Lady Kimmy for a couple more weeks and see how it goes. Uh, I just put my best speed gear on her. And I think it's pretty interesting to play around with different champions. Alright, uh, I always use Kimmy as, as my Hydra champion ever since Hydra was released. Then um, 
because after dupe system came out i just kind of lost interest uh, in those non-empowered champion <laughs> especially arena meta non-empowered champion uh, but seems like it works pretty well like i think this kemi is faster than a lot of plus two champions in platinum arena right so yeah let me know what you guys think uh personally i think kemi is the best one in the game right now all right I think Kimmy is better than Sifi and Arbiter, but you're gonna need a Kaimar to go with, with to go with Lady Kimmy. Otherwise, I don't recommend it. All right. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. What you guys think? All right. Do you guys what do you like? Which champion do you guys think is the best speed booster in the game? Let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.